today I am explaining the brachial plexus. It consists of roots, trunks, divisions, cords and branches. So first roots, these are of five types. These are formed by C5, C6, C7, TA, C8 and T1. So these roots will join to form the trunks. So C5 and C6 will join to form the upper trunk. So these are of three. Trunks are three. Roots are five. So and C7 remains alone. It it forms the middle trunk. C8 and T1 again join together to form the lower trunk. So these trunks further divides into divisions as a ventral division and dorsal division. Ventral dorsal. Ventral dorsal. So after that, so here the divisions are of six types. So these divisions join together and they gives rise to the cords. There are three types of cords, lateral cord, middle cord and posterior cord. So one by one I will tell how they are forming. See here the lateral cord, it is formed by the joining of ventral root of upper trunk and the middle trunk. See this one, ventral root of middle trunk and upper is joining it gives the lateral cord and the middle one is formed by the joining of only the by the ventral root of lower trunk see here lower trunk ventral root gives rise to the middle cord and the posterior cord is formed by the joining of all three see dorsal division of upper trunk dorsal division of middle trunk and the dorsal division of lower trunk all the dorsal divisions are joining here it gives rise to the posterior cords and these cords gives rise to branches so here the lateral cord gives rise to three branches so these are the mnemonics to make uh, to remember very easily l m l so l stands for the lateral pectoral nerve and then m stands for the medial musculocutaneous and L stands for the lateral root of median nerve and this one middle trunk gives rise to 5 nerves so the mnemonic is 4 m u 4 m u 4 m stands for medial cutaneous medial pectoral medial cutaneous nerve of arm and forearm here and then median root of median nerve so 4 m and one more u is for the ulnar nerve then posterior cord gives rise to five nerves. So the mnemonic is U L N E R. So U stands for the upper subscapular nerve, L stands for the lower subscapular nerve, and N stands for the end to nerve to latissimus dorsi, and A is the axillary nerve, and R is the radial nerve. This is brachial plexus. So roots are of five trunks 3 upper middle and lower divisions each dividing into ventral dorsal ventral dorsal ventral dorsal then cards 3 lateral middle and posterior and these are the branches so roots these are formed by the anterior rami of c5 to c8 sometimes t1 and uh, c t1 is also there along with the c5 to uh, c8 and t1 sometimes c4 and t2 also taking contribution if c4 is contributing for that we are naming it as a prefixed plexus if t2 is contributed then we are naming it as a post fixed plexus trunks they are formed by the joining of these roots it is of upper middle and the lower so here root of c5 see here c5 c6 joins to form the upper trunk c7 alone remains it forms the middle and C8 T1 forms the lower divisions into ventral and dorsal division cords again they are joining they forming lateral cord formed by the joining of ventral division of upper and middle trunk middle cord is formed by the ventral division of middle trunk and posterior cord is formed by the joining of dorsal division of upper middle and lower trunk then last one is the branches so lateral branch gives LML to remember it easily lateral pectoral musculocutaneous lateral root of medial nerve medial 4 m and u so medial cutaneous of 4 r medial pectoral nerve medial cutaneous nerve of r medial root of median nerve ulnar nerve and posterior u l n a r upper subscapular nerve 
lower subscapular nerve, nerve to latissimus, latissimus darsi, axillary nerve and radial nerve. This is brachial plexus.